Hi guys, uh, it's going to be a vlog day. I'm going to town, but I want to run a few errands. So I want to bring you guys along. We're going to start by going to the market and buy some fish. Uh, my mom likes a certain type of fish, so I want to get it for her. Yeah, and then run around the whole day. So if you're not subscribed, I subscribe, I like and share as well. And I know I'm wearing broken glasses, so excuse that because I lost my glasses that I normally wear and I just can't live without glasses. So I hope I can find a pair today and get a new one, but uh, yeah, let's go. they sell fish and uh, this is the lady who always sells for me so this is called Mputa or Nile Patch bought one of these eh? <laughs> my camera settings were wrong so I thought I was filming but I didn't film but she has already packed for me the fish so yeah so uh, let me take it's quite big so she sells around 30,000 28,000 this is the main road. Yeah, this is just a market area. Uh, I've done a tour of this market before to show you guys the cost of living in Uganda. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it uh, somewhere here. So right now I'm going to find like a border and I go to town. road slopes down to a total charge yeah and then up there is Nakasero Street and Lumumba Avenue but this is George Street where I'm standing so I'm going to walk over to that restaurant and wait for my brother over there uh, that's my bro I'm so tired I'm from a walk a tiresome walk down with the Hi. Guys everywhere rushing shy, shy. <laughs> <laughs> it was really a hectic day. Guys everywhere. People. Kasana, sunshine. Kasana is Kasana is a word in Uganda. Uganda is the language spoken in Uganda. Kasana, sunshine. It's burning. It burns and you feel the skin is getting off your body. 
the skin wants to run away. So how are you? Hi. I've been running some errands. It's about 3 p.m. I'm just walking on the streets of Kampala. Yeah, uh, looks like it's going to rain. That's Uganda house. So I'm going to go and find what to eat because this is called Thoban Center. When we had the meet and greet up here, when Wodemaya was in Uganda, it was right here. So I'm going to look for for what to eat. I'm very hungry, guys, and then I'll find some new glasses because eh? these are very embarrassing. <laughs> But let's go to my friend's restaurant. It's where I like to eat. The food is really nice. So come along. I show you some Ugandan cuisine. That's Tram Towers right over there. So I'm going to walk through Total and cross the streets. That's Communications House. And then try to get on the other end. It's quite sunny in Kampala these days. So it's very easy to sweat. But then after a few minutes, it starts to rain as well, so I've never understood the weather in this country. It will rain right now, 10 minutes later it will be shining, you know? Very interesting here. Yeah. But uh, this is a parking space, people can park their cars here and go to work. That's NSSF building, you see it in the background, yeah. That's communications house, I've already showed you guys. That's the restaurant, it's called Oscan Food. So we're going to enter from somewhere here. And yeah. so my food is here, chicken pulao. So this is the restaurant, they have very nice local Ugandan food. So I'm quite hungry and let's just and see. Put some soup here. Give me some peas, side dish of peas, these are cow peas. Huh? Some avocado and tomatoes, what they call kachumbari. So I don't know how to eat while filming, so <laughs> let me eat my food and finish and we got the next thing. Guys are finished to have lunch, so I'm going to the bank right now. I'm going to Centenary Bank, that is my local bank that I use. I use two of them, I use Centenary for my local transactions and then I also use Tanbit Bank for my other transactions, if I want to buy stuff online, I'll, most, most of the times I'll use Tanvik for that. So I'm going to Centenary at Mapera branch. Yeah. This is Kampala. This is the view, guys. It's about 4.30 p.m. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to walk there, if I should just get a border. There is someone performing on the streets. I see him right over there. Fast as scared, thinking it's copyright music. Charm Towers, so... This is DT 
BTB building, BTB center, the name of this building. Yeah, and obviously this is Kampala Road. We have some trees as you see. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to get a border. I don't want to walk. Just it's very close, but I don't want to walk. It's almost five and the bank closes at five, so I think I can vlog in the bank so yeah, I don't want to get into trouble. As I left the bank so I'm going downtown. Uh, that's my bro. That's the new pioneer building. We are around here so I'm going to find the bus station and also in our soft <laughs> a big truck person there <laughs> yeah I'm also going to find glasses guys I want to buy some new glasses yeah so yeah I'm going to so let's go downtown Kampala this is the streets that's the whole restaurant Some oranges on the streets. So that is Gaza land right ahead. Yeah. So many border guys over here. So many of them. Sun is setting. So I'm going to find glasses around here. There is a lady who sold to me last time. She's around this area. Let me see if I can find her. But this is uh, this is downtown. <laughs> These guys are always goodies. They'll try to pull your hand and make you buy by force. Let's see if I can find that lady selling so many stuff right over here. So this is a place where I bought glasses last time, so let's see if I can find something. It has quite a collection, let's see if we can find something. Look at this. Guys, what do you think? <laughs> My brain is laughing at me. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> There is 
another one here let me try it out as well but that option so which one is better guys i really don't know but i'm going to pick out one of the three and go with that one this is what we picked out my bro thinks this is the best choice so yep i'll let you know what you guys think but uh this is downtown kampala busy day busy day so let's find our way to the bus park we are going to take some things to the bus park and uh, let's find our way there are very busy for selling stuff and the rest are trying to go home yeah so this is typical Kampala selling things everywhere uh, that one is feeding. So this building is called Town Shopping Centre. So guys, all this is downtown Kampala. Yeah, all this is downtown Kampala. If you want to buy some maize, rice saucepan over there. Wow, look at these triplets. <laughs> Oh, 
we are approaching the bus park guys this is the area so when you want to send things from Kampala to the village or to any part of the country normally you have to put them on the bus so this is the area where we get the buses so it's right inside here yeah. So guys, this is the bus park. You can see there's so many buses in here. So if you want to go to any part of the country, then this is the place to come to. Yeah, so there are so many buses. You so have to get one which is going to your district, you know, and then just put the things there. So you can see there are quite many. I've put my fish inside here. This is my packaging box, eh? so I'm just going to seal it and then put it on the bus. So I'm just going to seal this with salt tape. Guys, it's already night. I finished putting my delivery of what <laughs> at the bus station. Eh? So I'm in the old tax park. Um, yeah, this is a little bit of nightlife. Obviously, when it gets to night, people are selling things tomato, sorry, bananas. Yeah, so this is the old tax park. But uh, <laughs> of course, of course, it's renovated. Eh? They have renovated. It used to never used to be tarmac. If you guys remember, you know this place was renovated during the lockdown because people were not working, so they renovated it. So, so all these people are waiting for transportation means to go home. That's why I just sit and waiting, 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 waiting. The Nigerian accent. Yeah. So that's Park V Center that you see up there. And right there they are selling street food. This is Kampala at night. Eh? This is Kampala at night. Just have to be careful not to be no clothes, selling clothes. So let's make our way out of this place. Outfits for sale. Yep. So let's pass here. Yeah. Put some display on the ground. Some shoes. Yeah, so there are some stairs up there that you want to climb and get on the upper side. So I want to take these stairs here. So this is a uh, old tax park view. So we are somewhere here now, and we are definitely getting tired. But you guys can tell that Kampala gets busy at night, by the way. It's about maybe 7:40 p.m. Eh, it's 8 p.m. It's 8 p.m. This is around the Plaza Cafero. Uh, that's Matera. Right there in front. Yeah. All these taxis are just waiting for people who are going home because everyone is coming from work and trying to go home. Shops are open if you want to buy electronics, if you want to buy mangoes, you can buy from there. Yeah, everyone is trying to get home right now. Get, get home quickly. Everyone is trying to get home. If you want bananas, you buy. For now, bye bye. I'm leaving.
driving home. It's about midday, so I'm a bit late. I have a couple of errands to run today. These glasses are way darker than I expected, you know? <laughs> way darker than I'm used to. I don't even know if you guys can see my eyes. Like, I may wear glasses, but at the same time, I need that eye contact with the camera. I don't know if you guys can see my eyes through here. So I may have to change them, especially after editing this video, but I want to go and get my hair washed, so let's go do that. And of course, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do subscribe. Uh, today is also my friend's birthday, so I want to take her for a dinner at the end of the day. But I want to first go and run a couple of errands this afternoon, and then I will meet her at the end of the day for a nice dinner. I want to take her out. So subscribe, I like, share, and let's do this video. This is my salon. Hello. Hi. I'm looking for you actually. I want to wash. Wash off. You have to do what? Yeah, I want that you cut those with things and then after you wash. Yes. Yeah. So that's the lady who worked on me last time. <laughs> she actually did my hair, this one that I have on. So I just want her to like wash it. I think that's the quickest thing to do and it's right uh, within my neighborhood so I always come here to do my hair and they're quite nice they they do a good service as you notice my hair had these little things eh? so she's cutting off these because they don't look nice <laughs> they're sort of old yeah, and then after that, she's going to wash it. So, so this is my least favorite part, sitting in a dryer. It's the reason why I used to have short hair, because I don't like being under the heat. <laughs> but it's going to be like for 20 minutes. to oil the hair yeah, I'm done with the dryer <laughs> it's not my favorite part to lay the edges guys so to lay lay edges <laughs> what do you guys think she gave me a ponytail a ponytail braids braids uh, guys, I forgot a spare camera battery, so I had to come back home and pick it. It's a very, very sunny day. It's really hot, <laughs> so I'm tired before I even do half of what I'm supposed to do today. But uh, let's go to URA. URA is Uganda Revenue Authority. I'm going to get a TIN number, so you can apply for a TIN number online, but the truth is I don't know how the online process works. But I also have a friend at URA, so she can just help me out. And I think that would be quicker than going on a laptop and trying to figure it out. And URA is also very close to where I stay. Like there is a URA office very close. So, so the URA office is in this building here. So I'm just going to walk there very quickly and see how long it takes me to get a TIN number. I'm not sure if I can vlog inside, but I'll try to show you. Yeah, but this is the place. This is called Matas Mall. It's the name of this area. And the URA office is on the first floor upstairs. So let's go there. You can see URA. So the entrance is at the front. I hope I hope there isn't a line because eh? I hear so many voices inside already. Yes, so it's guys this is it uh, that's my friend Pamela <laughs> my friend from high school not even high school like all level <laughs> yes uh, so she says come and pay your taxes <laughs> looks aside uh, this is the URA office guys so yeah this is where all the money goes, they take all the taxes. Eh? You guys take all our money. 
Have you paid your taxes? We are closing the financial year. Oh yes! Oh my god, I should work on it now. Let's see if I have an income in the first place by the way. <laughs> I've just left URA. That took way, way longer than I expected. I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't have done this by myself because the process was quite long. It's been like, it's almost 4 p.m. It's already 4 p.m. actually. So let me see if I can do a few more errands. I'm quite hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Maybe I'll find a drink along the way. I'm going to the police to find a police later. Remember yesterday, I tried to get a checkbook from the bank from Centenary, but I lost the old copy. I didn't lose it, but someone else lost it, and I have to replace it by going to the police to get a police letter, and then go back to the bank. So let me try my luck. I can't vlog close to the police, but uh, there is a police station in that junction, so that's where we're heading to right now. But before that, let me see if I can find something to drink. I'm very hungry, I need like some sort of sugar. So I just got a minute made. Just need some sugar in my body because I'm so hungry. And I don't want to sit down to eat yet because I want first to go to the bank. So let's see, let's see. Guys, I've left the police. I have the police letter. I just don't know if I can make it to the bank. It's almost 5 p.m. and the bank closes at 5, but uh, let me try my luck. I'm going to use a border because the border is very quick. Go with this guy. So I couldn't make it to Centenary in time, so I've just stopped in Tinder. Uh, you guys should know Tinder, but this is Tinder. Uh, it's quite a good place. I like it. It's a popular town. And if you guys remember, this place never used to have traffic lights, but they gave us traffic lights, so it's quite organized. Let me just show you guys around. Uh, this is Nsinda. This is like street food area, by the way. Yeah. Uh, this is also a taxi stage. I guess taxis which go to Sasi and Nigeria are always around this area. And you can see Nigeria shortly. What you Nigeria? So, guys it's called Aleph and their food looked very yummy and juicy on Instagram so I'm excited to check it out guys I've arrived at the Aleph but it happens to be karaoke night which I didn't know so I'm going to show you guys it's like super packed already there's so many people so I could only get a place at the counter yeah there's like baristas right behind me so I'm just going to wait for my friend to get here if she likes the place you can stay here if she doesn't like it then you can go to a quieter place for a dinner because I thought it's like a dinner setting but it happens to be karaoke night and uh, or maybe we'll just go with a floor so I'm just going to be here and wait for her I found some two gentlemen who invited me to the table, so yeah, that's their drink. <laughs> wow, that's a whole bottle. Uh, but this is, this is what? I don't know what he gave me. This was like a cocktail. I don't know, this, there's no alcohol. Blueberry. <laughs> Cheers, guys. It's nice. the food is here look at that chicken wow 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 
and the beef. Uh, very, very delicious. Ordered for blue tea. <laughs> this is called blue tea. Just out of curiosity, so uh, let's try it out. Karaoke night. Guys, we are done with the night's birthday girl. Tell us if you had fun or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I had fun. Yeah. You enjoyed your birthday dinner? Yes, I did. I enjoyed my food? birthday dinner. The food was nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're ending the vlog here. Subscribe and uh, yeah, let's go home. Bye-bye. <laughs>